Help support us by supporting our Patreon. We have two tiers. The supporter tier, which basically lets you get access to some of our smaller posts and projects. And the pro tier, which gives you access to our larger posts and projects. And your bot will also be overviewed on our channel. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a message snipe command in Discord.js version 12. So first what we're going to need to do to start out is map out all of the snipes or messages that get deleted by doing client.snipes equals new map. Next what we're going to need to do is make a message delete function, which basically like gets all the messages that get deleted in the channel. Client.on message delete. Whoop. Function message channel so by putting code inside of this event this will basically get messages that are deleted inside of a channel and since it's a function we can call us anytime on our code later when you want to so next what we're going to do is Client dot snipes dot set message dot channel dot id all right now so now we're gonna set the snipes of a channel this is gonna be the actual messages that we're gonna be calling later for our function we're gonna do Content is message dot content. Yep, the author is gonna be message dot author dot tag, or basically the person who sent the message. I for and always put a comma right there, not a period like I did. Now what we're going to do is the image, if there is an image, however, it isn't always guaranteed to work. It's going to be message.attachments. First. We're also going to put a question mark there in case there was no message.attachments.first. In case there was like a URL or something. All right, so basically what this is, so this right here is gonna fetch an image if there was an image. And this right here will basically fetch like the URL of the image. Or if it was, yeah, it'll just fetch the URL and display it. However, this, is, this isn't always guaranteed to work, so be mindful of that. So what we need to do next now is create a new file, I mean, Folder file, new file for our command instead of our command handler. You're doing. We're gonna make a new file called command slash. It's gonna be inside of our info category slash snipe.js. Now make sure you configure the file. You can configure it however you want to. Just make sure it actually runs inside of your command handler. And I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna name it snipe. Why is gonna be ms or message snipe? I put it inside of the info category. So basically it get delete, it gets deleted messages which is basically all you need to put down right there 
So now what we're going to do is actually code the snipe command inside of our snipe.js file. So once we have it set up, we're going to do this const message or msg is equal to client.snipes.get or message.channel ID. Oops. All right. We're going to go down one line and put if no message. Basically, this will just, if there is no like messages that were deleted, this will send. We're going to do return message dot channel dot send. No deleted messages. That we're gonna return there are no deleted messages in this channel if there are no snipes for this channel. Now we're actually gonna make an embed for this. Const embed. There's new Discord that message embed. We're going to set the author. We're setting the author as message.author. Because we did set the author before inside of our function. We're also going to set the description as message.content. Now, if there is an imp, now the next part we're going to do is display an image. If there was an image that was, you know, uh, deleted. If message.image embed.set image message.image. Now, we're, the last thing we're going to do is send this embed into a channel. Now we're actually gonna go to Discord and test this out. But hold on a second, this is offline, so. All right, so now that we have Discord open, we're gonna actually go and test the snipe command, see if it works. We can just spam a whole bunch. And the last, no, the message that I wanna delete is SL, hey, DK. So I'm going to delete it, and we're going to run the snipe command. And you see that the bot actually returned the snipe message. Uh, you know, I'm going to delete my first message and see if it'll fetch this one. A, M, S. Yep, it works for most of the messages. So now that is it today for the message snipe command. However, I am going to explain one last thing inside of our main file. The client.snipe.set. We're going to set the message.channel ID. That's what we're actually going to call the um, snipe command by. Which is why, as you saw before inside of the snipe.js file, that client.snipe I get message.id. It's kind of similar to using quick.db, except we're not actually using quick.db.